Right, as I overlook Lords, uh, it's a beautiful evening. I have to say, the sun is starting to shine, but the sun is not shining on England. The uh, performance today, for whatever reason, they just didn't bring any of their A games. Australia outclassed them with the bat in hand, the ball in hand, in the field, the captaincy, uh, the pre match, the selection, uh, the mentality, everything about Australia today was very impressive. They look like a side to me that uh, have got all the confidence to go on and win the World Cup. England, they look low in confidence. From that defeat against Sri Lanka, um, they clearly have an issue about batting on these kind of wickets. You know, I don't think they bowled full enough with the new ball this morning. There was an opportunity there. They didn't have a great deal of luck. They were beating the outside edge. But I think batting on these kind of wickets, particularly when they're chasing, they don't seem to have the right approach. They go a little bit too hard too soon. And then they don't seem to have that ability to just build a partnership by playing a different way. You, you want to be aggressive, of course you do. You want to try and hit the boundaries when the opportunity arises. But you've also got to be able to maneuver the ball into the gaps and just play the sensible game. And, you know, that could be the reason why England don't win this World Cup. They're not out of it though, they've got two games to go. They play India on Sunday. Uh, that should be easy in Edgbaston, the, the kind of wicket that will be very similar to the one we've seen. Very slow, very similar possibly to the Headingley wicket against Sri Lanka. So it's not going to be easy for England. India and New Zealand, they've got to win both games. I can't see how one win will get them through unless, uh, I guess, Pakistan lose tomorrow against New Zealand and then it could all be down to them winning one game but they've got to play a lot better. Winning that one game might be difficult.